Leather chair transformation using Angelus acrylic leather paint. Is it worth it? All the how-tos, tips, tricks, and more coming right up. This leather chair has been through a series of changes. It was a brown leather and then it became silver and then we changed it to a gray with copper. And now once again, we are converting it to another color, which is gonna be more matching my decor. It's gonna be a, a bluish, but right now we have to deglaze it. We're using Angelus leather paints the first time I'm using them. This is not the color, but I'm just showing you the manufacturer, Angelus. We're gonna use some sandpaper, some alcohol, to, and we have plastic gloves, some water, paintbrushes, assorted paintbrushes, and a spare towel, and some rags. We would begin by taking our existing leather chair as it is, and going over it with the alcohol first, and if need be, we'll sand down some of these rough edges here. As I said, this has gone through a lot. Okay, let's do this. See, now that's looking pretty good. Look at that, and I can feel it. I can feel the difference. Now the deep glazing takes off lays and any debris and dirt that's on the leather. Make sure you deglaze the entire chair. Whatever's leather, you just use the alcohol on. I have a few rivets here, and I'm gonna simply use this little sanding block. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree or Home Depot or something. I wouldn't get anything too abrasive. I mean, this is fairly light. And do this all over the entire chair. Now, if you don't have ridges, I should clarify that. If you don't have the ridges of the painting here, uh, where I do have some bumps, then you don't I, don't, I don't find any need to sand it. You just simply go over it with the alcohol. This area, I think I need to do a little bit better. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give this another once over. I think this area right here, um, let me try going over that a little bit here a little smoother. I feel a little texture there. That kind of bothers me because whatever's here is going to be here in the painting. All right. I think this is good. This feels fairly smooth. And we're going to go over it one more time with the red and a little bit of alcohol and take off any that was um, left by the sanding. And we're good to go. We're going to let it just dry for a few minutes. Get our paints ready. I'm going to start off painting my legs first and then I'm going to go to my leather. This is the color I'm going for. It's more like a blue, black, silvery color and it definitely has to be mixed. And I'm so excited because it's going to look fabulous in the rest of this dining room. Just gonna take out a little bit. So this is kind of like a blue, gray, black. Mm, let me see. Oh, that's pretty. I like yeah. that color, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. It's dark, but that actually matches the carpet. It does. Let's try a little white in there, but we're going to use a separate container. Yeah. Okay. Not too much. I just... Blue, little black. It's too it's light. It's too bright. Yeah, it's just yeah, too light. Too I, I, I got to go more towards that because that's the color that's in the carpet. Mm-hmm. This is just not... It um, needs more black. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Color matching 101. That's that's better. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll get it right. Just a bunch of color mixing. All right, so that's a little lighter. That seems to have a bluish tint to it. Mm -hmm. um, let's go check that out. Oh, I like that. That has like a bluish. Definitely more of an aqua look. 
Well, it has, it's like, that's the gray mm -hmm. and that's has a little a bit, bit more of the, yeah. Bit. Wow, it's almost like an ice blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, I like that. I like it, I have, think it has more character than that. I agree. Okay, so let's go back to the drawing board. And many a trial and error, we finally arrived at a paint that we really enjoyed the color. Take a look at this. Can you zoom in on that? Oh my gosh, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Wow. Most likely I'll have to do at least two coats, maybe three, I don't know. We'll see. And I made plenty. That's tip number one, my friends, is that you need to make plenty of the same color. If you're doing a mixed job and you're trying to do a color match, it's always best to do plenty and have an overage of the color. Trust me, ask me how I know. Second coat is just about done on the second chair. We'll see you tomorrow and we'll see what this looks like and we'll put the mat. I can't decide what, between the mat or the, uh, the satin finish on it. I'm thinking the mat, but I'll take a little piece and see. And the finisher, it just kind of completes the look. <sighs> That's it for now. Our chairs are dry, looking really good. And I'm going to apply the Angelus Satin Acrylic Finisher. Shaking it up and I'm going to apply with a sponge like so. Angelus acrylic leather paint, was it worth using it? Yes, a strong resounding yes for me. I would use it again in a heartbeat and I plan on getting some of their pearlescence and metallics as well. They have a whole exciting color chart that you can purchased many different sizes that are available. I like the way this paint went on. It's super soft to the touch when I come over here and touch this on the leather. And this leather has been completely packed up in the past few years. I've had these chairs for probably well over 20 years and they look incredible. And you know what? If I tire of this paint that I mixed up myself, I can always go and paint again. Thank you so much for joining us. Have an amazing day.